along with him is Damien Housen, the time trialist. Now look how solid uh, Housen's shoulders are. He is a time trialist and he bridges over towards Surrey. Surrey thinks he's got the drop on everybody, but Housen is there. He's only 21 years of age and he's in the shadow of him at the moment. He's out of the wind. 4K to go. He can time trial. Third in the Aussie Nationals, don't forget. He's bridging over now. Will he go for it? I Nico think he's Simons. got to. Nico Simons is on his way up there. He's just putting a strong attack there as well. Got a little bit of clear space to the rest of the guys. Well, he's being offered local, uh, protection at the moment, is House, and in second place, he's going to have to be called forward, and so he's not going to want to do his job for him. Gentry going. Oh, the Gentry is trying to catch up as well, and Roland at the back looks tuckered out with four to go. It's about three and a half now. I think he's had his fun. Gentry, though, is still very much involved, and oh, they're all over the place within the pack. Wouldn't be surprised if that had caused a crash, but thankfully they got away with it. Nobody wants to be caught on the wrong side, as the Gentry was. Those guys on the left-hand side of the road are getting beat on as we speak, and they've got to make their way back over. Uh, can't it's not an easy thing to do, especially if you're within the group. A select group of four includes the Yensi right now, out front. Uh, likewise, we have Simons, uh, Magnus Baxter's pick today. I believe they've got 3.2 to go as we speak. Seri's there. So is House and the time trial is from Orica Greenedge. He's on the roads right now, and Yensi goes once more. Well, Yensi's just picking up the pace. He's trying to stay away from these guys, just chasing back on in the, from, from the former break. Oh, Jens Fox, he's long in tooth, but huge in experience, of course. 42 years of age, and he's turning the clock back right now. 3K, it says on there, but they'll be hitting the 2K to go, Banner, before you know it. And almost immediately, they have a right-hand turn, and then the road begins to waver. Just watch out for Pierre Roland if they catch this group here now. He will come like shot out of a gun. Simons hits the front from Wanty Group Gobert. He's there, and they are playing Cadamas at... It's playing into the hands of those who were left behind a few moments ago, and here comes a counter-attack, and it's Molar that's going on the other side of the road, hoping that nobody notices him. They've seen him now. He's out front, and Molar's going for a very long one. We keep saying it, but so are they all. It's a rolling assault. Every single one of these has taken his turn out front uh, to have a go, and Nico Simons yet again is up there. Uh, for Cairo Ra, Piedra looks like he's resting up at the moment, but he's still got time to regroup himself, get himself back together. Yeah, and uh, uh, Rutkiewicz from uh, CCC Pulsat is moving around nicely down the back as well. He's not really taking too much of a turn. He's not hit the front any point, just letting everyone else do all the work. And Jens, he's been doing an awful lot of it in the, in the last couple of kilometres. Another kick from Mollard, and uh, it is indeed Kai Roral in the green. Uh, Antonio Piedro, who tries to close down. Orica Greenedge has got Damien Housen, and he's been doing a fantastic job of staying exactly where he needs to. But I think he needs to light it up early, because when it comes to a hard man's moment. It's going to be Roland Shawley against Jens Vogt. Who's got something left? Oh, and there we have a reach out for it. Peter Sarri goes for it, kicks off, and Roland, oh, I think he would have preferred him to actually have another go. It's sort of a, a, a rolling attack, if you like, and suddenly he comes through Steph Clement in the red jersey, king good of move. the mountains, and it is a very good move, but we keep saying this. Has he finally timed it right? This is definitely a dangerous one. He's getting close enough to the finish as no one really is going to want to take a hard turn on the front now because that will take all the, uh, all the sprint out of their legs. And Steph Clement has just timed this beautifully. Well, he has the King of the Mountains jersey. No more real peaks to deal with, of course, uh, until tomorrow. And so it was always going to be about the quick men. But the Belkin man who wears that red King of the Mountains jersey looks like he's got the jump on everybody. And he's got some amazing pace here as well. And it's a perfect time to do it. He's been offered up some protection. Oh, and he's going to head for this one, surely. This is absolutely brilliant. That's the two to go. He's got the Flam Rouge beckoning before he knows it. There's a slight ramp and nobody's got anything left. Or have they? Nico Simons it is that's uh, gone off the nose but he's on his own this man likewise but he seems to have more power than anybody well he's certainly going strongly but uh, Nico Simon says he's making his way back on towards uh, yeah punching I, uh, out it's uh, Orica Greenedge it's Damien House and is trying to bridge over as well uh, Peter Sarri also involved from Omega Farmer Quickstep I think Jens Vogt is, uh, is cooked unfortunately today Oh, my goodness. Kaya Rorals, Antonio uh, Piedra, also there. But it's going to be minor places for them. It's going to be wrapped up, and it's going to be by the King of the Mountains, man. It's a late charge coming, as it does very late, from Peter Sey from Oga Farmer Quickstep. And here comes the Yeti. The big powerhouse is also involved, but it's all too late. And the King
king of the mountains, makes it on a day that was supposed to be about a sprint in the red jersey on the line as well. It's uh, Rudy Mollard from Confidence. What a day we had. Peter Seri, part of the minor numbers, unfortunately for him. Good effort by the breakaway. Nice to see him succeed. And also great to see this man, Steph Clement, who's been so busy over the last couple of days. He holds the king of the mountains jersey, let's not forget. It may well belong to him. What also